PennDOT is working hand in hand with Lawrence Park and Wesleyville officials to bridge a gap between the two communities with a new infrastructure project. Matt Mathias joins us in the studio with a look at the plans for that project. Matt. Well, Jen, PennDOT delivering the findings of a study conducted over the fall tonight that looked to create a trail through those communities. Community leaders hope a trail estimated to be roughly a mile long can make a difference in safety and quality of life for Lawrence Park and Wesleyville residents. PennDOT investigating the feasibility of a trail from East Lake Road in Lawrence Park to Buffalo Road in Wesleyville that enables foot traffic and cycling in the area. Right now there's only sidewalk on the west side of the road from Buffalo Road up to Main Street and the Wabtec plant entrance um, and then really there's no other uh, pedestrian facilities. The Water Street, the corridor, is a very, very vital corridor for our borough. It's our only northward connection. While proposing plans, alternative options were given as well, including a greenway trail that runs along Four Mile Creek. PennDOT also stating that two pedestrian bridges crossing the creek have outlived their usefulness and need replaced. Those are the Bell Street Bridge and the Curtis Napier Park. Lawrence Park and Wesleyville officials agree that the safety of students as they're on their way to school is one of the main concerns in starting this project. Our school is located in Lawrence Park, so it's the only way for kids to, to walk to school along Water Street. Uh, and right now, the bridge that is there is deteriorated and has closed down, uh, and it is not safe to, to move along that corridor. It's been a not only a safety issue for the kids going back and forth to school, but it's been a concern for all the residents of uh, Westerville and Lawrence Park on trying to get this open back up. And better access to the community is key, and commissioners say it's better to tackle the infrastructure changes in one fell swoop. It's more than just the bridge, it's the walkway, so by widening the scope of the project, we bring more resources into play, and therefore we enhance our chances of getting better funding. Now, PennDOT's public comment period will remain open for two weeks. After that, the hope is a local project sponsor advances the design and engineering of the plans. Jen. All right.